Welcome to the Data Scientist Podcast with Dr. Stylianos Kabakis. Dr. Kabakis is a data scientist, statistician, and blockchain expert with a mission to educate the public about the wonderful capabilities of technologies like AI, data science, and DLTs. These technologies have the potential to transform the world, the economy, and our lives. However, there is too much misinformation around tech, and so most people are just confused about what is true and what is not. Whether you are a CEO, an entrepreneur, or just an enthusiast, the Data Scientist Podcast helps you separate reality from hype. Hi, everyone. In this podcast, we're going to discuss about blockchain and real estate. So I was recently in a conference in London where the conversation, the topic of the conference was around the tokenization of assets. So it's obvious that one of the biggest, most profitable assets in the world is real estate. So it's no wonder that there are many companies looking towards this space. So how could blockchain be used in real estate? There are quite a few ways, actually, but obviously there's no application that has dominated the market yet because the space is so new. So one of the main ideas is that you can uh, tokenize the ownership titles of real estate and this could make transactions easier and more transparent. So that's a similar concept to, you know, tokenizing, for example, equity, not so much in the form of uh, ICOs, but uh, in the form of STOs, security token offerings. But besides this, because besides the tokenization of titles, uh, there are some other interesting applications. Uh, for example, you can tokenize, for example, pollution or energy, yeah, or the data that the building produces. So you can create a whole economy around that. And also in construction, there are very complex supply chains. And blockchain has already been applied in supply chains. For example, Walmart is using blockchain for the provenance of some goods like greens and vegetables. And some of the companies that are trying to push, promote blockchain in this area, like uh, Deloitte, they cite other advantages of using blockchain similar to the ones you might have heard in other areas. So like going on Deloitte website, they say that one advantage is that uh, you no longer need to have a common database. Everything is taken care of by blockchain. There are no intermediaries. There's also more trust between the different parties. And, you know, and this could also be true both for the supply chains, but also for transferring titles of ownership. That being said, however, uh, things are not as easy. Yeah. So I was talking to some people who come from the real estate industry and they don't have experience in blockchain. And they told me that, hey, we are we, we really cannot understand why blockchain, why everyone says blockchain is a big deal for real estate. The reason is that the way that many blockchain experts present the advantages of blockchain is a very simplified view of the world. So, and this carries on to how they design their solutions. And in reality, real estate can be quite complex and many of the solutions, or actually according to the people I talked to, all of the solutions they saw during the conference, they seemed to take a very simplistic view of the world, hiding some of the complexities that exist in, in the industry. So this got me thinking, like, because, you know, blockchain, the advantages of blockchain essentially are the same, no matter what industry they're being applied. Yeah, so you have more transparency. If transparency is an issue in your industry, uh, you can facilitate automation, make operations more efficient, remove intermediaries, etc. But, you know, that, that's a high level of view. When you get down to the specifics, uh, things get more complicated. And I did a bit of research and I saw that, for example, one company in the blockchain for real estate space in Switzerland called Swiss Real Coin, apparently they've put the project on hold because they're not sure which direction to go to. And I think this demonstrates some of the problems, some of the challenges that blockchain is facing right now, which is what blockchain has 
you know, it, it's a valuable technology, but it's also has some clear benefits in many in many areas. In some other areas, there are companies trying to promote it as a solution without fully understanding what are the benefits for the industry. So I think the fact that you know these conversations I had a few days ago and the the fact that Swiss Real Coin has put on hold is a very good demonstration of this problem. That being said, I'm not suggesting that blockchain is not useful for real estate, yeah? I'm just saying that maybe the way that some solutions are being built or promoted they don't really resonate with the challenges, the problems that people in real estate face. And that's obviously not just for real estate, this is in some other industries as well. That being said, there, there are some reasons for all of us in the blockchain space to be optimistic about the adoption of blockchain in this industry. It looks like there are some companies, some firms uh, like uh, Token Estate or Block Emo, which they seem to be doing okay and they seem to be making some progress. Like some of, some of those companies, I think Block Emo and Ilia Labs, they managed to create, to run the first blockchain property deal like in 2019. So that's good. It seems that things are pushing forward. But again, I believe that the point I raised is a very important one. What will determine whether blockchain gets successfully implemented in real estate is going to be whether it actually solves some of the problems of this industry. Yeah, so this has to go beyond a proof of concept. Yeah, this has to go beyond the technology. It has to go down into how actual real estate works with uh, some companies and some blockchain experts who propone the use of blockchain in every industry might be getting it the wrong way. So these were my thoughts around uh, blockchain for real estate. That's a space I'm going to be uh, watching closely and I'm sure we're going to be hearing more things coming up in the next few years. So the future looks exciting. And let's see where this is goes and let's see whether blockchain is really going to be adopted by real estate or whether uh, real estate will just treat it as another fad. So thank you for listening and see you again soon. Thank you for listening. Make sure to visit the datascientist.com for more content about data science, AI and blockchain.